Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rich. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a cool ASCII signature, meaning a signature made of nothing but text. Uh, I'm using Hotmail as my example here. Uh, this will also work with Yahoo Mail also. In Hotmail, you can go to the options and go to more options. And then on the next page, you have personal email signature. Now the problem with this you can't put any images in this except the ones that Hotmail gives you. So if I type, you know, this is my signature, I can put images in it, but I can only choose from little icons. So if I decide to put in a pizza slice, that's basically it. I can't change this no matter what I do. Now, if I was using the Windows Live Mail client, email client, yeah, I could put in whatever image I want. Unfortunately, uh, you know, I'm not using Windows Live Mail client, and this is how most people use Hotmail. So what do you do? I mean, how do you get uh, other stuff in here that actually you know looks decent if you can't put it in an image? Well, you can actually do it with just text, and I'll show you how. Um, you need a utility called Java. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's J-A-V-E. If I go to google.com and search for J-A-V-E, that's V as in Victor, by the way, J-A-V-E, and just do I'm feeling lucky. It goes right to it. This is the Java ASCII Versatile Editor. It is a Java-based application, meaning it will run on Windows, Linux, or OS X, uh, or any operating system that can support Java. Now, before we actually go and download this and use it, we have to make sure Java is on our system first. So you can just go to java.com, J-A-V-A.com. And right here, there's a link that says, do I have Java? So I'll go ahead and click that. Congratulations, the latest version of the Java runtime environment is installed and running correctly on your system. Your Java configuration is this. So anyway, back to here, the Java ASCII Versatile Editor. What we do here is we're going to download it first. And there's a link right on the side to download and then oh by the way it is free version java 5 so i'm going to click that and i'm going to it's a zip file so i'm going to use my archiving utility here i use winzip if you don't have winzip uh, and using windows it has a, a built-in thing so you can use excuse me extract zip files and then there's a bunch of files in here so what i'm going to do is extract this to a folder now what i'm going to do is just put it right on the desktop for ease of use so i'm going to go on the desktop new folder and I'm just going to call it JAVE and then I'm going to highlight all these files and then just drag them in here actually you'll notice that it has paths you should extract it with the paths if you're using WinZip actually I'll do it this way I'll just show you when you extract it just make sure to use folder names and I'm just going to go right on my desktop here and select the folder I just made extract and there's actually one more thing I have to get there's uh, something called Figlet fonts. These are fonts that uh, they're not true types. These are ones for the ASCII editor. So I'm going to go ahead and click this, and there's Figlet fonts 4.0.zip. So I'm going to go ahead and open this one up. And uh, I know this seems complicated, but you'll see how cool this is in a second. So anyway, all these go into the fonts folder in the Java folder. So I'm going to go ahead and extract the Java folder. It's going to put all those fonts in there. And now when I double click on this, now being this is a Java based application, there's no executable file. It's just jar. So there's a file in here called jave5.jar. And all I have to do is double click this and it starts her up. Okay, so here is the Java 5.0 Java ASCII versatile editor. Now here's what makes it so cool. I know I can't put images in Hotmail signature using the web-based version, so I'm going to use an ASCII way of doing it. I'm going to select the Figlet font, just bring this down here, and I'm going to select a smaller font. So under Figlet options, I'm just going to go down and select a four-line tall font, and the one that I like is one called Italic. I'm going to go ahead and click that and then move this out of the way, and I'm going to type my name. There it is, Rich Menga. That is in ASCII-looking font right there. 
and then underneath that I'm going to click the little ABC button. If To get to this font stuff, by the way, you click the big F for fig, and then you click ABC for normal text, and then I'll put my website name, which happens to be menga.net, and there is my signature. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this by dragging over it. It's highlighted. I'm going to edit, copy, go into Hotmail, which is here. Here we are back at the signature. Right, I'm uh, sorry. And then just control V to paste. Now it looks kind of crappy. That's because it's not in the courier font. I'm going to control A, highlight all of it. Font style, courier new. And there we go. We've got a cool looking signature there. And then I can highlight this part where I put in my website. Click the little link to enable a hyperlink. And that is my signature. And if I save this, and then I go back to mail and then just compose a new email message. There's my signature. So I'll, this is my test email. I will address this to myself and then just as an example and send. Um, there in my sent box, I sent it to myself and it says this is my test mail and there is my ASCII signature. Now I'll show you something else that's even cooler than this. I'm going to go over to images.google.com and this is the Google image search and I'm just going to search for something very simple here I'll do Autobot logo for those that know the Transformers series you know what the Autobot logo is and I'll search images and I've got all these Autobot logos I need to pick one particularly simple for the um, the signature and here's one right here it's just a plain red on a white background so I'm gonna go ahead and click that click that again so now I've got my image I'm going to right click this and save it directly to the desktop and just call it Autobot and click save. It's a JPEG. I'll close this because I'm done with that part. Uh, let me just go back to the... There we go. We're back in here. Now I'm going to remove this stuff. Just delete it. Now what I'm going to do is just do the folder for open. It says open an ASCII file, but you can actually open an image file too. So there's my Autobot thing right there. I'm going to click that, click open. And here it is in ASCII. So it's good, but it's a little too big. So this is the ASCII-fied, you know, you know, making up that word, but it makes the point. Autobot logo. So I'm going to go to the output tab and set the text width. It's normally by default 72. I'll set it to 40. So now it's smaller. You can still make out the logo too, which is pretty cool. And I'll click insert and it'll ask me if I want to add it as a watermark. No. And there it is. So now I'm going to do control A to highlight the whole thing. Edit, copy, go back into Hotmail, and then I'm going to paste in the Autobot logo, which of course looks like crap because it's not in the courier font yet. I do control A and then font style courier new font size extra small and there is my Autobot logo and then I can do control A again select the color because the Autobot logo is red select it as red and now it's red and then save now if I do a new there is my Autobot signature and I can type the mail right above it and say hello this is another test mail send it to myself Subject test of cool auto bot signature send and then go into my sent folder and check it out and that's what it looks like now granted in the sent folder it looks a little weird but in um, when you're composing it it looks fine and to 99% of the people you send it to it will look fine as well this is just another way of doing signatures and you got to bear in mind this is all nothing but text. There's no imagery involved in this whatsoever. And it works. It works out pretty well. So again, the utility is called Java or JAVE 5.0, Java ASCII Versatile Editor. Just Google it. You'll find it. Make sure you test your uh, Java capability first before running it. For those that ask, well, what happens if I don't have Java or if it's an older version? It just won't work. It's not going to crash your computer or anything like that. It just wouldn't work. And that is the way to do it.